I'm Mike O'Dowd and this is Angel Cortez and we're with USCCA and today we're going to show you a ballistic lab for inside your home. One of the most common things we hear all the time is about rounds skipping, right? Skipping off walls. I've been told this since my first day of training is like you stay off the interior space walls so that rounds don't skip into you. Um, I know for a fact with mud walls, I know for a fact with concrete, uh, hardened walls, they do skip, but I've actually never seen a uh, round skip off drywall. We're gonna start with this 22. It's a Ruger Mark III, and we're gonna start with small caliber and work our way up and see at what angle we can actually get the rounds to skip and how far into the wall we can get them to skip. So the first test we're gonna start out with, Angel's gonna be about one to three yards off the wall at a very, very gradual angle. And uh, we'll work our way a little bit steeper till we start seeing penetration into the wall. All right. All right. So what you just saw was Angel took the first shot very near to the wall. And that first shot actually hit here, completely skipped. It was, uh, it was a great test. Full skip and we hit into the steel. The second one he stepped off probably 10 inches off the wall, got a, a steeper angle, and that one actually went into the drywall. You can see the hole here that it went into the drywall. He scooted back just a little bit, probably about six to eight inches, hit the steel again. So we have two confirmed hits, about six inch max off the wall. He was able to skip that round with a 22 caliber. For the next test, we're gonna do a 38 Special Smith & Wesson. This gun is like really cool to me. I've had this for a long time. The first shot Angel took, he was actually super close to the wall. He hit the wood, it did skip off the wood, but uh, I think we kind of knew that would happen with this material. The very first shot though is right here. This is uh, shot number one with a 38 Special, 38 number one. Shot hit clean in the steel, that was awesome. Second shot uh, came in here at a pretty steep angle. He stepped off the wall a little bit more. It still skipped and went into the steel. And then very surprisingly, his third shot, this is kind of remarkable if you can come in and check this out. It went into the wall and then came out of the wall about six inches later and hit the steel. So this is uh, really, really solidifying like we, what we've always thought about uh, round skipping off of walls, like here in proof. I think the last shot he took was probably about this far off the wall. So um, pretty, pretty solid evidence. For the next test, we're gonna use a 2011 Staccato. Uh, this has a ported barrel, so a little bit of bleed off, so not quite as much power, but it's pretty much a standard nine mil. We're using ball ammo and uh, I have my theories about what's gonna happen, but let's take it take a closer look. All right, so let's take a look. Angel took uh, a couple shots. The very first shot was right here. So it's kind of same thing just happened. Nine mil uh, goes in, skips on a very, very shallow angle. Goes right into the steel. Perfect hit, 10 inches off. Again, it goes into the drywall. It rides inside the drywall. And then you can see right here, it pops out and hits the steel. Man, this is, uh, this is pretty impressive how this drywall is holding up. So far, we are proving that every round that we've shot so far from 22, 38, nine mil, uh, it's all skipping. We've also used home defense and ball ammo. Now we're gonna use a 45. We got a Nighthawk uh, GRP. This thing is a really awesome 1911 and we're gonna run ball ammo and see uh, what angle it's gonna, gonna skip. So check this out, 45, a much bigger round. We've got 45, number one here. It skipped, it actually penetrated pretty heavily inside, but then it gets pushed out and goes ahead and hits in the steel. 45, number two, this one went in and got lost, didn't hit. And then 45, number three, you look at the angle, it's definitely in line. It did hit the steel, it came in very deep and then spit back out and uh, hit the steel. This one, we have a Hornaday Critical Defense 45. All right, so we take a look here. We had 
45, number one, very shallow angle. He was like pretty much hugging the wall a few inches off and it hit direct steel, barely any penetration. Um, 45, number two, he went pretty steep off the wall. He's about 15 inches off the wall. It actually penetrated in the wall and I see nothing on the backside. So probably stop somewhere in here. 45 HD number three went deep penetration and is like redirecting off of it. So the rounds are skipping like very well. In certain angles, they're not even going past the drywall. In really, really steep angles, they're actually hitting the shear wall and skipping off the shear wall, which is a plywood. So unbelievable. All right, we're moving on from pistol. We're going into rifle. This is a 5.56 that I, that I carry. Um, we're gonna use ball tip round, and then we're gonna go into green tip. So the first rounds were a little bit deeper. Uh, I think one of them came through here. We had two hits here and we had a through here. So this one actually went into the wall. This one went into the wall, but off the shear wall, it tore a hole into it. This one was pretty steep off the angle. Angel's a left-handed shooter, so we had to step off a little bit further, but it's about still about 15 inches off and it was too steep of an angle. But then these ones were all about that like seven to 10 inches. So this will be the last one we're doing with rifle. We're gonna go with a green tip, which is an armor piercing round. Um, I'm actually really curious what this does. So what we're noticing with the rifle rounds, most commonly, or the steeper angles, you go past drywall and you hit shear wall. But a lot of homes do have this, and uh, that's something that gives it a little bit more stability. I think what we just proved was that uh, any of those people who are saying that walls uh, don't skip and that you can't use them as cover, it's just absolutely false. This is kind of a standard build. Whether you have shear wall or not, rounds do skip. And if you were at the end of a hallway and you were tucked back behind that corner and somebody shot at the wall, there's a good chance, depending on the angle, that the round does skip. Uh, we went from 22, skipped, 38, skipped, uh, 9 mil, 45, 5.56 five, with green tip, all skip. This test is not to tell you that you should start using your wall, your drywall as cover. This is to say that rounds do and can skip and that can actually affect the way that you, you use your tactics. Whether you're dragging your body across the wall or you're using behind a doorway or behind a door frame as, as that cover uh, can be very effective. So there you have it. That was skipping rounds in, on interior walls. If you like what you saw, go ahead and uh, leave us a comment. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let us know if you want us to try different calibers or try different uh, materials as well. Also, if you disagree with this, if you think this is totally bogus, show us some proof that you have because one thing I learned from this was all those haters online are not correct because they're not out here actually testing and we are, and we just found out a lot today. Don't forget, no matter what you do, continue training because that's how we move forward and that's how we progress.